Hi guys, Sam Corkies from EVSC and today I've got the brand new LDV eDeliver 7 and I'm going to run you through everything you need to know from its battery size, its range, charging speeds for both AC and DC and some fun facts about the car. So let's get into it. Now the eDeliver 7 comes in two versions. There's a 77 kilowatt battery version and an 88 kilowatt battery version. And within those versions, there's two models. So the 77 kilowatt version has the short wheel base, which we see right here, and the low roof. And they also make this one in a long wheelbase version, also with the low roof, okay? Now in terms of range, it's got a 77 kilowatt battery and it gives you 318 kilometers for the short wheelbase. And if you've got the long wheelbase, it's 310 kilometers. And these are real world figures. What LDV did is they packed it full of weight, drove it around Sydney, and actually gave you real figures. Because when you jump in and you turn the dash on, it's gonna give you a reading of over 400 kilometers. And if you wanna extend the range a little bit further, turn off the air condition, because then it increases your range further. Now it's really important to note the shape of these vehicles right because when these are being driven on a highway they're going to have more air resistance they're going to be generating more kind of friction and therefore the range on a highway in these vans is significantly less than if you're driving it around town so what you're going to find this is going to be a perfect car for your metro deliveries if you get on the highways the range is going to go down slightly more so really be mindful of that but the good news is there's stacks of public dc chargers around now so you're not going to get caught out like you used to the next model up is the 88 kilowatt version, which comes only in the long wheelbase. It's got um, a low roof version or the high roof version if you really want to pack some uh, gear inside it. So the, um, the range for the low roof is 362 kilometers, while the high roof has a range of 328 kilometers. Okay, so let's get into some of the charging speeds now for both the variants. So both variants come with an AC charging capacity of 11 kilowatts uh, per hour when you plug it in on either a home charger or a smaller AC charger. And what that means is it's a pretty simple calculation. On an 11 kilowatt, the 77 kilowatt battery is gonna take about seven hours to charge. And on an 88 kilowatt battery, it's gonna take about eight hours to charge from zero to full. In terms of DC charging, this is gonna be really important because if you're gonna use this fan for two shifts or more, you're really gonna have to start thinking DC charging because you can get more out of your van. And we personally, when we use this van, now this is actually our van that we use, we actually whack it on the DC charger quite often because we need to get out and about more often. So from a DC charging perspective, the 77 kilowatt uh, battery will charge at a DC charging speed of 78 kilowatts an hour. And that's a 20% to 80% charge in about 43 minutes. So that's pretty good. It's a, it's a one hour stop, have some lunch and dash back out. In terms of the 88 kilowatt battery, it's got a faster DC charging speed of 90 kilowatts per hour. So that 20% to 80% charging speed is again, 43 minutes. But as I always say with DC charging, check the DC charger that you're using, um, divide the battery size by that charger at a minimum. And that always gives you a nice kind of uh, understanding of the charging speed available. Okay, so let's quickly pop in and show you how to charge and what you see on the screen when you plug in. So the charging point on the 2024 model is on the passenger side door. Okay, in the 2025, they've actually moved it to the front, which is great because it actually makes it easier for using public charging because you, you go to the front, it's a bit simpler if you ever ask me. That way, there's no cable hanging around the driver's side door. Now, the top section here is AC. So this is where you use your AC charging cable, your portable or your smaller chargers. And if you have big infrastructure or you're using public chargers and they're the ones that look like big petrol stations, undo this bottom section and then use the bottom port as well. And that's a CCS2 port. This is a vehicle that's gonna age super well because it's got the latest plug standards, it's got strong range, and this is a viable alternative to a diesel van. All right, for a long time, they weren't good enough. And the reason why we purchased this is because this actually saves us money over time. It's cheaper to service, it's cheaper for us to charge it because we use our solar panels, and it's a great driving experience, okay? Now, in terms of what you get or charging accessories, um, you need to buy those um, accessories uh, from EVSC. So we can provide you portable chargers, uh, EV charging cables, AC chargers for your building. And if you want high power DC chargers, we can do that. So reach out to the team at EVSC and we'll happily support you with any of your requirements, give you free quotes, give you free commercial consultations and just 
give you the experience so that you know that when you get this van or an LDV product, you're gonna feel like the, the charging is taken care of. So let's show you what's on the dash now and, and wrap it all up. So all your charging stats are shown right here in the center console screen. You see here that 78%, we're actually getting 59 kilowatts uh, on the DC charger. This is a 60 kilowatt that we're connected to, so very, very strong efficiency. And there's about 30 minutes remaining. And that makes sense, because when you hit the 80% mark, these cars will slow down their charging speed. Uh, but overall, as you can see, it's a really nice van to be able to drive. It feels like driving a car, which is very nice. Of course, because it's electric, it's very zippy. And it's a, a vehicle that we've purchased because we think it's an absolute winner. So on behalf of the EVSC team, if you do need any advice around how to charge this vehicle, reach out to the team. We're experts because we own it, and we'd love to be able to support anyone on their electric vehicle journey. Bye for now.